Happy July 30th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party explored another set of chambers. Beneath a mountain in the windless peaks, we defeated a second pair of golems here in Area 3. Uh, we found a single piece of amber, and uh, we discovered some more runes that were translated by a previous adventurer, R, O, and T. We're starting to feel the accumulation of bruises and scrapes. We're at 17 of 23 health, so we can only use healing potions at the beginning or end of a page. Abilities and other items we can use we can use all of those during combat. So let's use a healing potion or two now. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's just a D4. Yep. D restores D4 health can't be used in combat um, and Ivy has uh, what is it solar infusion when using an item that requires a die roll gain a plus one to the result so let's roll one of these we'll drink one health potion three four that brings us to 21 that's pretty good I think we'll I think we'll just use the one so we're back up to 21 health. Okay. That is that. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. You step out of the doorway and see the vast landscape of Renwood before you. Pillars line the cliff and a message is carved in stone on the ground. Starting at the edge of the mountain... And working your way inwards, okay, read the top rune on each pillar. Repeat this for the second rune, if any, and so forth, until you have read the bottom runes. Okay, uh, and there's another rune hidden here. Uh, N looks like maybe a protractor. Um, oh, and there's a, there's a hidden icon. Someone left their backpack here. <laughs> so let's see what we found. Uh, where's the rules? They're in the front of the book. Let's see. I always want to go to the back of the book for the rules. Um, here's the backpack. Backpack. We're going to roll a d10 and see what we get here. Eight. Foresight flower. What is that? That sounds like intelligence, maybe? Or wisdom? Foresight flower consumed on use adds d4 intellect on a single roll. Excellent. One foresight flower. We don't have anything that can add to our intellect, so that is welcome. Um, okay, back to Ivy, wherever she is. Here we go. And okay, let's. See. Let's see about these runes. Actually, let's write these down, I think. Not sure. So begin, start at the edge of the mountain. Work your way inwards. So, well, let's translate these first. So we've got pillar A, B, C, D, E, and F. And this one, oh, we don't, I don't think we know that. Okay, we don't know that symbol. Maybe we missed that somewhere along the way, but we've got um, T and then L and then uh, F. Pillar B, T, uh, the protractor is M, <laughs> and the upside down R is E. C, pillar C, it's just two symbols. We've got an F and the hashtag is an R. And pillar D has one symbol. That is the I. Not a lot of vowels here, huh? I and E so far. Maybe that's, maybe this is a vowel. Uh, pillar E, we've got F and O, there's our, there's a vowel, and pillar, uh, pillar F, we have F, lots of F's, <laughs> uh, this guy again, 
upside down R and T. Okay. Starting at the edge of the mountain and working your way inwards, read the top rune. So what's, I guess, what's the furthest pillar? It looks like C, and then D, and then E, C, D, E, yeah, and then maybe B, A, and finally F. Okay, so um, if we do that, we have F, so we, so F, F, I, F, F, I, F, T, uh, our unknown symbol, and F, and then we have, uh, okay, second row is R, there's nothing on 2, 3 is O, I, I don't feel like I'm doing this right, this doesn't look, um, this doesn't look good, <laughs> this is nonsensical to me, uh, okay, third row, 1, 2, 3, 4, um, L, and E, <laughs> this is not, this can't be right, Oh, what the, what the heck? <laughs> um, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so my, what just happened in my brain was I, I figured this guy looks like an H, so what if it is an H? And then, then we have fifth from, so we have, if they're not, if they don't have to be all in one line like this, let me rewrite this, fifth. from the fifth from the left if you can see that I hope my chicken scratch is big enough to see we got fifth from the left this is obvious <laughs> this, is, this is um I don't know I expected it to be more riddleish. I'm happy it's not but <laughs> it feels a little um okay Fifth from the left. One, two, three, four, five. What are we trying to do? Um, read the t rune on each pillar. Repeat this for the second rune. Okay, read the runes on the pillars in the correct order to identify which pillar must be used to summon the guardian. Hint, look back at the previous pages for rune translations. Yeah, we've copied them along the way. Okay, I'm going with the fifth from the left, which I believe that to mean pillar E. So, uh, here we here we go. Where did I put the paper? Uh, read the runes in the yep. Back. Check your answer. Pillar E. If you pick this pillar you chose correctly, the guardian is being summoned. Excellent. Okay. Uh, that worked out. I thought I was bewildered <laughs> for a little while, but um, I get wow. Okay, so I suspect tomorrow we will face off against the third of four guardians, Aurelia the Phoenix. Maybe it won't be combat. One of these I feel like should be friendly at some point. Maybe I don't know. In any way, in any case, um, that my friends is July 30th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you will join us. Thanks for watching.